the cat sat on the mat we want to search for cat so in fact let's put cat there as well so we want to search for cat there are two instances of the word cat inside this string here so what we need to do is we need to start at an offset of zero let's pull all this down so it doesn't distract us we're starting the offset of zero so it's going to start from before the t this is position zero this is one we remember we start at zero so we're going to go zero one two three four is where it is where the uh, c starts so one two three four that's where it starts now our position is our offset is now equal to four or no sorry this substring equals four and our offset equals zero still it's probably a better way to represent it so we've searched zero one two three four and we've got to this c here now our offset the next while around the loop wants to be here so we need to add three characters to it however how do we know how many characters to add to it well we need to obtain the length of the search term in order to add to the offset so what we need to do is um, we need to first of all set the offset to the um, the value um, let me think hold on so substring for right, substring is equal to 4 we need to set the offset equal to substring add the amount of characters in here so the substring will now become 4 add 3 which is 7 so now the offset 7 the next while around the loop we're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we've missed out this because we've already found this we don't need to process this now it's going to search from here and it's going to find another instance of it here and then it will do exactly the same thing as I've just explained. So if you don't understand this, rewind the video and listen to, to what I've said again and try and understand how these variables are being set each time. Remember we can use the string len function with this cat to obtain the length of the string, so that's not a problem. So let's put this into action, put my words into action. And let's pull that up and so we're in the loop let's say this returns as uh, four like we did before so remember it was four characters now we don't need to think about this yet we just need to do the code and then we can test to see if it works so the offset is now going to be equal to str pos add and we need to add the string length of the search text so let's come down here and say search length equals str len this is going to return the, the length of the string in a integer so search now what we do is just add that on okay so now what will happen is the next right the next uh, while around this loop the offset will dynamically change because we've used a variable here and we've changed the variable here when we started at zero each time around the loop this is going to be dynamic and change so let's echo this out each time put a line break on the end so we can test what we're doing so the cat sat on the mat or the cat sat on the cat we're gonna search for cat we're replacing with at the moment this doesn't matter because we haven't taken this into account in our program so we click find and replace and we'll return with 7 and 22 now this has disappeared but let's just retype it now let's to double check that everything's right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Remember we're starting now from there. We've already we, we, we've already got the substring. In fact, let's echo the substring as well. Or the string pause rather, sorry. So echo str uh, pause. This is this, which is changing, remember. And we'll put a break on the end of that. So we're going to we uh, output the string position then the offset then the string position again then the offset because we've got two instances of cat so search for cat replace with monkey find and replace so let's type this again the cat so at position four one two three four we find the word cat 
we skip this because we know the position so that's fine we can do we can replace that later with the uh, substring replace function one two three on is at position seven so four five six seven now we begin searching from here so one uh, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen at 19 here we find the instance of the word cat and three later we end up with 22 now at this point we're at the end of the string so in our program uh, this is going to evaluate to false so we're going to break the loop it's as simple as that thinking about it however when you are writing it you might find it a bit hard to get around the logic so if I was to say cat 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 after this and I'm searching for cat again monkey doesn't matter right now and I can replace we get a whole bunch of variables uh, numbers here sorry telling us the position and where we're starting from after the same if I was to just type monkey search for monkey and replace with cat for example find and replace oh monkey monkey cat oh okay okay We'll address this issue later um, when we test it.